Hello everyone, so this one should be pretty easy because it's just a simple list. Um, I'm going to give you the list of comic book publishers who accept submissions for both artists and writers and whole creator owned pitches. And I'll give you a little bit of info on the kinds of book they release and uh, I'm going to go in order sort of by the rank of the largest to smallest and by how many books they release uh, in any given month or year. So it's sort of by rank of popularity. Um, so if that's what you want to know, just stick around until the end, because I'll also explain how you can reach out to publishers who don't accept submissions and actually receive a response. Because um, I'm also going to include in this list the publishers that don't ex accept submissions at all, or at least they don't actively promote that they're accepting submissions. Uh, so anyway, yeah, like, subscribe. Uh, so I can build a community and make more videos. All right, here we go. So the number one at the top of my list, since I'm excluding the, the, the big two, because I think at this point everybody knows that Marvel and DC don't accept creator-owned submissions, I'm going to start with the next biggest, which is Image. So Image is probably, if not kind of inarguably, the biggest creator-owned publisher. And they'll most likely always accept submissions for creator-owned work. But they're probably the most exclusive in a way, um, if you were to judge by how many submissions they receive and how many they deny, they're probably the most exclusive. Um, they only release a certain amount of books to begin with, and they rarely release books from unknown creators unless it's super exceptional. Um, however, that being said, they probably also release the most amount of books in a given month. Um, but it's just that since they're so large, they probably, you know, if you were actually judge out the ratio of how many ex uh, submissions they receive to how much they put out, it probably is still a very low amount. And as you'll see, if you were to go down the list, everything they're putting out, 90% of it is by people who already have um, professional work. Um, it, very rarely is it an unknown creative team. At least somebody on the team has been putting out professional work. Um, but I do know from experience that you will get a rejection letter at least. <laughs> they don't just ignore your submissions. It's usually like two to four weeks after you submit. Um, next down the list is Dynamite. So Dynamite is a bit bit strange that they do accept submissions, but it's they don't accept like a flat-out pitch for your book. Instead, you have to send them a, an actual like letter um, to their physical property, something you have to send in the mail. Um, and they don't really accept like a portfolio. You have to send them sort of like a cover letter uh, as if like telling them why you might be a good fit for, to work for them. Um, and that being said, I don't believe they accept or even like put out creator or material. It's, it's mostly like public domain stuff and licensed IP and their, and their own kind of IP. They're like most known for Red Sonja and the Vampirella and stuff like that. But that being said, they're still one of the largest, uh, publishers that accept submissions the third one is probably dark horse um and they still accept unsolicited submissions and much like image they re they accept like full story series pitches from art uh, writer artists or uh, full teams and they put out um plenty of uh books each month and the, probably everybody knows dark horse that's watching this video so i'm not going to go too much into them uh, the next one is Titan Comics. So um, there is a submissions email for Titan. Um, so f as far as I can tell, they're still accepting pitches, but uh, it seems like they've had like the same kind of WordPress page for years, and it's not connected to their main website. So uh, take all this with a grain of salt if you were to – it may be old links that I'm looking at, but they do uh, publish some creator-owned uh, series, I believe. Um, but they mostly release licensed material like Blade Runner. Uh, next down the line, I have Xenoscope. So Xenoscope accepts submissions for writers and artists. However, I don't believe they take creator-owned pitches because I don't believe they publish creator-owned comics. They publish stories based on their own characters that are sort of like sexy, fun, romance, horror. Um, for those who don't know Xenoscope, uh, the, I would just look into them. Uh, the next one that people probably would know is Valiant. Um, they do allow submissions for artists and writers to send their po portfolios. Um, Valiant publishes a wide range of superhero comics, and they're probably the biggest superhero publisher outside of the big two in Image. And um, they're known for like Bloodshot, which 
It was a movie, I feel like, not that long ago. I think it was a Vin Diesel movie. Anyway, um, but I'm not sure if they accept, like, full pitches. It's it's like you, you send them their portfolio, either as a writer, artist, or a... Um, or as a combination. Uh, so next on the list, probably like one of the bigger of kind of the small house that accepts all genres and pitches and all that is Black Mass Studios. They they accept uh, creator-owned pitches along with portfolios, and they have a wide range of comics and all genres. And they've been around for at least a decade, I want to say. I want to say like 2010, 11, 12 or something is when they started. Um so yeah, and then the the next one is Scout Comics, a lot like Black Mask. I think they've been around for a while, although maybe not quite as long, maybe like 2013, 14. Um, and they accept submissions just like Black Mask, and they have multiple imprints and, um, in all genres. I know for sure they uh, have a horror genre and a, like a kid's genre. Um, and then maybe like a like an LBGTQ uh, imprint as well or something like that. Um, and they're growing, and I have a book with them. Uh, so as o- although they're uh, smaller, they're, they're getting uh, – they're, they're growing rapidly, and they have a strong history of getting uh, film and TV options uh, for their IP and their creators. Uh, kind of in the same category as a, a Blaze – uh, they, but they don't appear to be openly against submissions. However, they don't have a submissions guidelines page. Uh, but they they do publish creator on comics in all genres and and quite a few. Um, there's kind of into uh, a, now in a a next lower category, but still not necessarily like tiny is Antarctic press. So Antarctic accepts submissions for writers and artists, and even seems to pair up artists and writers if needed. They publish a wide array of, of creator on stuff, including manga and black and white comics. And that kind of from what I can tell, they're like one of the most go-to uh, publishers that sort of take Kickstarter success stories and bring them onto the direct market. Um, uh, of course, they're not the only one, but that I notice a lot of like big Kickstarter books end up going into the comic shops through Antarctic. Um, and yeah, so they accept submissions. Uh, Second Sight Publishing is a, a red, a relatively new publisher um, of mostly horror comics, but they accept submissions once you have a completed book. They don't accept like writer pitches or story pitches. I don't know much about them. I think they must be pretty new within the past year or two. Ahoy Comics accepts submissions and pitches and even short story pitches and, and um, or e- like even just like uh, pitches without art, just, just pure text, the, the story, maybe even like almost idea kind of pitches um, if you were to look at their submissions page. Um, and they publish a wide range of creator-owned comics. Uh, Mad Cave, although uh, this is probably they're like kind of the same size as some of the ones mentioned earlier, like uh, Scout Comics or um, Black Mask, uh, but uh, and they've been around for maybe not quite as long as them, but uh, at least probably like five years, and they have their own creator own portal for for full pitches, and uh, they're another kind of rising indie publisher that publish in multiple genres. Um, Action Lab Entertainment, I, I swear, was like in this category last year. Uh, uh, definitely, like I feel like in 2020. But now I was like looking up today, and like uh, there's, I must have missed something major with them. There's like a lot of controversies, and their website doesn't seem to exist anymore. So they may have been just fell off the face. Um, so they're incognito at the moment, but that used to be a thing. Was Action Lab Comics or Action Lab Entertainment? Um, Maybe it, like in their p- place, uh, the next one I have on the list is Comics Experience Publishing. Uh, like if you were to look at their logo, it's like CEX Publishing. And they, they seem to be uh, also kind of rising, and but they, they seem super new as well. And they're accepting creator-owned series uh, uh, submissions. Um, they don't have that many released yet, but they seem to uh, be in the kind of the main fantasy, sci-fi, horror, adventure genres. Um, some of the bigger ones, so like the, these last two uh, are 
known publishers that release books and they have been around for a while and they're and they release internationally but they don't accept they don't release that many books on any given month or year and they have like acquired taste so the first one is humanoids so they accept submissions and pitches of like creative teams and like the whole shebang um but and i remember reading uh, they had a uh, carthago was like a a pretty popular graphic novel about like giant sharks or one of uh i think the megalodon um but i haven't seen much it, I, I feel like i you know, have been out of touch but I haven't caught caught up them much since then but they're still accepting submissions and they're still putting out books mainly in like the sci-fi and fantasy fantasy genres i think they're like headquartered in france maybe um and, but also in the united states and but yeah they're accepting submissions as well and the other one kind of in the same category is fantagraphics they're like a long-standing publisher that accepts submissions from uh, and pitches from creators and they release creator own books but not that many and they seem to be like have a pretty acquired taste and uh, you'd recognize probably recognize the name and in many books they'd see but um they're probably you know I, i'm not exactly sure how, how you get on with them but i included them in the list so now i'm going to go through a whole the big long list of publishers that do not accept submissions or at least they do not make it uh openly obvious or that some of these make it very clear we do not accept unsolicited submissions others just don't seem to make it obvious of where how to contact them as a creator so they might allow them and that's what i'll go to through after this list is how do you contact a a uh, creator or a, a publisher that doesn't openly accept submissions. So just to run through the list, I'm not going to dwell on exactly much about these uh, publishers because a lot of them you already know. The first two are Marvel and DC. Then there's IDW, Boom Studios, Vault, Whatnot Publishing, Sumerian Comics, which was formerly known as Behemoth. And they were accepting submissions as of last year, but it didn't seem like I could see anything on their website today. Aftershock, um, Source Point Press. Although I believe if you were to go up to them at Comic Cons and p- pitch them directly, they too they do uh, allow that. Or at least last time I talked to them, they were. Um, Oni Press, AWA, which I believe stands for Artists, Writers, and Artisans, um, or maybe that's Authors, Writers, and Artisans. Uh, Archie black box and asylum press so those all aren't accepting submissions so just to kind of close out that doesn't mean that you can't contact them at all it basically what that's saying is they are you can't just like send them a, a pitch and expect them to then uh respond to it saying yes or no like oh we'll publish that or not you can still find and an email editors and basically say hey I'm a creator who's known for doing blah blah blah. If if you're open to it, I would love to work with you. If you uh, want to, you know, see what I've got, or, or um, if you're open, I'd love to pitch you or something. You can still reach out to them, especially if you have some form of uh, relationship or something that you can relate to them. For example, like I have had. You know, I've worked with creators that have worked with publishers that don't accept submissions that I can then have that creator that I'm writing a book with um, reach out to them because they already have a relationship and say, hey, I have something going on or so-and-so, uh, you know, do you mind if, if he sends you a pitch and you kind of like work with it that way because it's just people at these places. Um, and they are all still looking for material. You just have to be smart about how you get a hold of them. You don't want to just say, hey, read my stuff, and then uh, accept them. And then I've had people do this to me where they'll ask to send me something, and then if I don't read it immediately, they try to get on me about it. And it's like I'm definitely not going to respond to you now. So they're going to do the same thing if you try to pop contact one of these publishers and they do give you an opening and then you try to force something down their throat uh, or get pissed off whenever they say no that's almost just like whatever they call that burning bridges or whatever you don't want to do that so point being is like 
just because they don't accept submissions can't doesn't mean you can't contact them at all especially if you have um other experience under your belt either either if if you ha are working on a book with someone that has formerly done a book with that publisher that can be an in you can mention that in an email saying hey i'm working on something with so and so who you worked on with blah 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 in case you want to see the book we're working on now you're kind of our first choice of who we would would want to go with and most likely they'll respond uh, because the, you sort of have a mutual friend, a, a connection there. And it's even better if you can get that person to sort of uh, bridge the gap, so to speak. I think that's my main point there, and I don't want to dwell on it too much or make this video too long. So if you guys are happy with that, I believe that's a, pr a pretty good rundown of the list of the publisher that are, are accepting submissions. There's probably other kind of weird oddball ones that weren't in there, but I was basically just going down the list of the uh, all the publishers that sold enough books uh, you know, within the last couple of months of last year, 2022, um, to where they made the list of like on Comicron and things like that. Uh, so yeah, thanks. And, uh, like subscribe and all that jazz. See ya.